All right, Rivet Crew, happy Tuesday. Um, have a longer, kind of a grindy type of workout today. We have some double unders, we have some hang clean and jerks with a single dumbbell, and we have some farmer carries today. So nothing super high paced, something where we're gonna go in this workout thinking about uh, a sustainable pace as usual, right? We wanna kind of keep on moving and finding ways to break up these movements into smaller manageable sets, playing to whatever our individual strengths are. Uh, first off, you see there's a lot of double unders today. We have a descending rep scheme. We have 180, 60, 40, 20. Going into that, know, you know your skill level with this movement. If you're really, really good with double unders, you might be able to just kind of bust those out all unbroken, no problem. Um, that applies to at least a few of you. Um, other people are probably going to be a good idea to go ahead and just break those up into small manageable sets right off the bat. You know, breaking all those into sets of uh, small sets of 20 or whatever knowing that that's more of a sustainable thing for you quick set of 20 quick break something like that um, so have a plan on how you want to break up your double unders and of course don't get caught up in the double unders for too long i think i put a time cap of two and a half minutes on the set of 100 and then those time caps should get kind of shorter and shorter show so keep an eye on the clock don't spend too much time if you're a person who struggles with double unders and of course if you don't have double unders at all yet Go ahead and multiply the numbers uh, by 1.5. So like that set of 100 dumps would be 150 singles, so on and so forth, but down the line. Um, and then we have our hang, single dumbbell, hang, clean and jerk. So we need one dumbbell today. And it's gonna look like this. So two different ways to take it from the hang. You can go outside the leg, right from about knee level, or you can go in between the legs, also about knee level. Try both out, see which one you like better. Neither way is wrong. But hang, of course, we're coming from knee level. Let's really make sure to load those hips up, drive with those legs, extend those hips hard, right? We don't want to rely on the arm and shoulder to kind of pull that dumbbell up every time. This will burn out really quickly. So every single rep, load it up, jump it up, bring it to the clean, right? That's our clean part. And then we're going overhead with it. And I'll demonstrate from the front. You can go from between the legs, same thing. Um, jump, shrug, catch it on the shoulder, rebend knees, and punch it all the way overhead. When you go overhead, this can be a push press, right? Just one, or if it's feeling kind of heavy, you can go up and down and turn it into a push jerk. Either one is totally fine today. Last thing I'll say with that clean, keep the elbow close to the rib cage. Something that tends to happen with a clean like this from the hang is people will swing that dumbbell out front. But if you keep that elbow nice and close to the body, the dumbbell ideally goes from right here to right there. Nice straight line, keeping it close. We can go right into that overhead. Go ahead and switch hands every five reps on that movement today. Five, 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 five. And all those numbers, of course, are split evenly between the two arms. So when it says 50 reps, that means you're doing 25 on the right, 25 on the left, switching hands every five. And then, as if that wasn't enough, we're gonna throw in a little single dumbbell farmer carry today. And this is basically after each round of clean and jerks. You'll have your one dumbbell with you, you're gonna farmer carry it just with the one dumbbell, the one side, 300 feet, right? And you can split that up as, as evenly or as you want, right? Right hand, left hand, but only one hand is holding the dumbbell. And you're using the same dumbbell for your clean, for your clean and jerks. And of course, here at the gym, we have the yellow line towards the front of the gym and the far white line in the back, that's 50 feet, right? So we're going round trip, uh, what is that? Three times, right? So we're going back and forth, make 300 feet with our firm carry one dumbbell and yeah that's about it got about uh, 50 to 25 minutes worth of work today what would i say so i talked about pacing um talk about positioning what do we get i don't know if yeah get a couple going and then extra credit today a uh, little midline work three rounds not for time 30 ghd sit-ups and then 30 weighted glute bridges. Go ahead and use that same dumbbell from the workout, put it on the front of the hips, perform 30 glute bridges right there. So you're working the back and the front a little bit. And that's all I got for you today, guys. Have a great workout. Come in, get it done, and I will talk to you tomorrow.